What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another drift build of one of the cars from the new car pack. This is the Fiat X19, and we're going to be doing a 1.4 liter, or sorry, 1.6 liter turbo rally engine swap into this car, um, and we're going to be boosting the power up like crazy, and seeing what it can do, this is a little bit less of a drift build and more of just a craziness um, build, it's like almost like an, an exercise in craziness pretty much, or insanity, whatever you want to call it, um, but let's go ahead, and, um, we're not even going to attempt to try this car out on the stock engine, we're going to go ahead and throw this, um, not the drivetrain swap, what the hell, no, not the, jeez, engine swap, there we go, 1.6 liter inline four turbo rally engine, now, that's going to immediately boost the power up from 61 horsepower and 67 pounds feet of torque, to 373 horsepower and 442 pounds feet of torque. Now, that right there is dramatic enough, but let's not stop because I'm going to do a full race turbo, um, fully build the engine. We're going to go crazy with this car. I'm thinking we're going to need sport tires, but mm, uh, let's actually go with street tires. Let's live dangerously and go with street tires. Um, for the rear tire width, we're going to need something bigger than 185s, uh, <laughs> maybe 205s, it'll still slide around like crazy, but at least we'll have a little bit of rubber, and 205s in the front and the rear seem like a good, seems like a good setup, uh, for the wheels, let's do something, I don't know, let's do something interesting, because, let's face it, this is kind of an interesting car, um, it's not normal, it's not something you would usually see, or normally, uh, do, but I feel like this would definitely, um, cause a stir in online lobbies, that's for sure, let's put work equip 01s on it, I think that, I think it actually looks good with those, we're not gonna make them any bigger though, because I feel like the small wheels, look good on this style of car. Now, we're gonna need to do everything to the drivetrain, because I don't even want to think of what would happen, uh, to the stock drivetrain if we tried running that engine on the stock drivetrain. The stock clutch, uh, wouldn't handle it. It just, it would just die. It probably wouldn't even die, it would just look around and not know what to do. Because, <laughs> I wouldn't even dream of trying to, uh, trying to use that engine with the stock dri uh, drivetrain, it just wouldn't work. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get race brakes on it. And drop it on race springs as well. And also, before you guys ask, I, I do have the, uh, the Forza Rewards, um, coming in. Another, uh, what is it, 1,500,000 credits, uh, on the way in. So I'll be able to do a bunch more, uh, builds with that once I get that in. Now, time for the fun part, the power taking the restrictor plates off. So, once we take that off, we are going to be boosted up to 497 horsepower and 589 pounds-feet of torque in something that only weighs 2,278 pounds. So, it's going to be a little bit crazy. So, the first thing we want, uh, we want, bleh, we're going to want to do is uh, do a little bit of a tune setup. We're not going to change it dramatically. We're just going to do tire pressure, and we're going to do uh, ride height, and we're going to do the differential. So, not gonna mess with, well, we might mess with just a little bit more negative camera in the front, but that's about it. I don't want to mess with that too much until I drive the car. And go ahead and find, there we go. Get the diff sorted out. And apply it. And we're gonna go ahead and test drive it at, hmm. I'm thinking, actually, I want to test drive it at Prague. Because this car is super small. And the track here is really wide, so I have a lot of room if I screw up, because I feel like I probably will um, in this particular car. I don't know why, but I have a hunch that this particular car is going to be very, very hard to drive. At least that's that's what I'm thinking. It, it I could be I could be wrong. Circumstances could be different, but I don't know. I just have this feeling. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds first off. It's a backfire machine, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. 
it actually doesn't launch too badly. The gearing is crazy short. I didn't touch the gearing. But it actually works well with this engine. Oh my god! The blow-off valve! Just the noises! I just lift off, accelerate, and lift off, and accelerate just so I can hear that. And you know what? These 205 rear tires are too grippy. Um, I should, uh, I'm gonna go back and swap them out. I was thinking that it, that the stock ones wouldn't be able to handle it, like they would just be, uh, that they would just spin too much, um, that the car wouldn't have enough grip at all, because believe it or not, you do need a little bit of grip, um, in order to drift properly, but these tires are a little bit too grippy for my taste, so I'm gonna go ahead and change them out, um, once I get done with this test. But, um, aside from that, this car is actually not as hard to drive as I thought it was going to be. It's actually quite good, to be honest. Uh, oh, wow, okay. And you normally think that mid-engine cars are, um, are going to be difficult to, uh, to drift, because normally they are. Normally, they can be a little bit tricky, they can be a little bit, um... A little bit like funny a little bit like almost squiggly but not this car this car actually feels very well sorted especially with this engine it's like it was built to have this engine in it it's weird and it's especially weird because this car and this engine weren't really around at the same time at least if I'm remembering if I'm remembering when this car was made properly like if I'm properly remembering when this car was made then they weren't around at the same time Oh, get close. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a little freaky. Let's keep the rear. There we go. Again, again. The game skipped a little bit and caused... Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart because the game just, like, skipped a bunch of frames. And that wasn't... No, that wasn't the recording. That was the actual game. It actually skipped for some reason. I have no idea what happened, but for some reason the game just decided to be weird. Try a little bit of a wider uh, angle entry this time. Having more torque than horsepower definitely helps this car out though, especially when it gets into boost. Well, again, when it gets into boost, it's going. Come on. Oh, damn it. It's tricky to handle uphill. Uh, to keep it sideways uphill, it's weird. Uh, the, the way you have to handle it and the way you have to be with it is a little bit... I don't know. You gotta, you gotta be coming in with a lot of speed. You've gotta enter that uphill corner with a lot of speed if you want to get the results you're looking for. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, wow. Gotta admit, though, it is nice to have that grip um, when you're, like, hurtling toward a wall. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. Oh, wow. I'm starting to like these tires more and more because they've, like, they've saved my, like, my life more than once in this test run. I mean, yeah, you have to be... You have to adjust to them. You have to adjust to the increased grip. But for the amount of times that they've saved my points, I'm certainly not going to complain about them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a little scary. I thought my points were gone at that point. Wow, the turbo noises. Are you serious? Tried to go just a... Okay. Both walls just completely failed. Both... All three times. Both of those transition sections just completely failed. 
I was just trying to go a little bit closer than the first run. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you, you get that feeling, you're like, I could do a little bit better. You know, like, I could do a little bit better on this run. A little bit better. Like, an inch closer to the wall. It doesn't always work that way. Um, it doesn't always work that way. So, um, as far as final opinions on this car go, I, I really liked it. I really liked it. It really, really surprised me. Um, I will definitely be using it again in the future. Um, it might even become a car that I would use online. I don't know. I'll have to mess around with the setup a little bit to see. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.